Welcome back to another episode on advice to junior developers and today we're going to talk about how you can stand out um, stand out against other junior developers uh, that you're competing against in today's market. So the first thing is amongst the developers that may have those computer science degrees um, that they've got or they've had like a master's or whatever it might be, you know, how do you compete with these people? And let me tell you a secret of a lot of juniors that I've worked with. You know, particularly those that have just come out of uni and maybe they're starting their new job. Uh, and bear in mind that I'm working as a developer now and I um, work with juniors, but I also was a tech recruiter. So I've interviewed a lot of juniors as well um, in my time. And the main thing that I can say is about the vast majority of people that come out of university and then start working in a corporate environment is that they don't really know a lot and they're not good at problem solving. Like those are the two key things. I don't think university puts you in the right frame of mind or with the correct experience that you need to thrive in a corporate environment. So these are the things that you need to do to really excel. And the first thing is, and I mentioned this a few times, is working on your own projects, all right? It could be, you can start off with like simple CRUD apps or a to-do list or whatever it might be, right? But just expand that a little bit more and build something that's a little bit more valuable. Could be like, uh, I don't know, it could be an example of like something similar to, you know, a website where you can have like a discussion board. Um, yeah, that, that could be quite good to showcase, uh, you know, where you have some sort of authentication and session management. You know, or it could be, you know, some sort of problem that you want to solve, right? Um, so bear that, bear those things in mind. And the other thing is, is get good at problem solving. Don't spend time, you know, watching countless videos and tutorials and stuff like that. You know, choose a tool, choose a language, and you could get, you know, and decide on what project you want to build and just get started. You will be solving problems regardless of whether you watch those tutorials or not. So maybe do a quick Google search or use AI. Um, to get the basics of that tool or language and then just start implementing and that way you'll learn a lot more and that way you'll develop skills in problem solving because a lot of people uh, particularly juniors when they start they're not capable or maybe they panic a little bit uh, once problems arise so they will be constantly maybe badgering others I mean, like seniors for example asking for help but not trying to exercise you know how to solve the problem themselves and I think that's one of the key issues so the thing that makes people really stand out is that one, they built some projects, but two, they haven't just copied and pasted it, that they built it from scratch so they understand, you know, the design of the application, the architecture, what tools they've used, why they've used it, um, and they can coherently explain that. Whereas, you know, if you've just copied and pasted something off Stack Overflow, for example, right, or from ChatGPT, um, then it really shows when you ask that in an interview. So make sure you're just doing it yourself. Forget about AI and stuff like that. You know, you can use that as much as you want later on in your career um, to try and make things easier. But for now, try and avoid it, to be honest with you. Um, focus on building your skills first and then, you know, whatever you need to make your life easier. Or you can just use AI to write unit tests later. That's fine. But yeah, get strong with the fundamentals. Um, understand what you're doing and why you're doing it. And be able to convey that. And that will put you ahead of every other junior developer out there. That's what I'm saying. Once you get into the mindset of an engineer, um, you will stand out. You won't just be someone who's kind of spent most of their time partying, maybe copying and pasting some stuff and then called it a day, right? Uh, we tend to forget things that we learn. So keep implementing and you'll be way ahead of those um, that you're competing against. So yeah, that's my advice.